This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 19. Porcelain crown here. This root canal, according to the patient, was done in a dental school in Minneapolis about seven years ago by a dental student. Recently, he started to have some problems with the tooth, a little discomfort when I saw his dentist and the dentist noticed that there was a peripheral lucency associated with the mesial roots. This doll is clean. Mesials are the problem. So patient was referred to me. So today we went ahead and did selective endodontic retreatment. I left the distal alone. This root canal was done seven years ago. So if there was going to be any issues, peripheral lucency, we would have been able to see it by now. But distal is definitely the problem. So we went ahead and started and completed the endodontic retreatment one appointment selectively. First file, first file is a thousand, thousand RPM. We're just pulling out the old material that they put in the root, roots of your tooth. Uh -huh. Okay, so hold on to it. Back in again. Yeah, this thing doesn't like that. Yeah, we don't like the side. Suction, please. C file goes, goes right through the GP. So my old my technique, my own technique is looks like it's superior to this new file. And this is the, yeah. So I would not switch from my technique. That is a proven technique to to these files because um, I was just playing, I guess, because I wasn't advancing a whole lot. But I'm already I'm already done. I took out all the GP with my old old yeah, technique. So unfortunately for me. Is thumbs down for these files. I will not be switching to these files from my own technique. Okay. That's the finisher? That's the other one. Huh? Yeah, that's how it looks. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to use the finisher file and let's try the finisher. Let's try the finisher file. A thousand RPM going to 23 millimeters. I already already used my number 20, so I have a glide pass up to 20. Okay, all right. I like this better. I like the finisher file better. It's just wipe it from it anyhow. GP tags. Yeah, right there. You just pulled out a little bit more. Thank you. I like the finisher better. So I think I just I just use my own my old technique to remove the gutta percha and then the finisher to just remove the gutta percha tag. I didn't like the first file. It also made my seat solution flatter all over as I was using it. And here is the post-op. So as you can see, everything went beautifully. We went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration. I asked the patient to come back to see me in six months. 
so we can keep an eye on this tooth and make sure this periapical relucency is healing. I'm optimistic.